Jack got injured. What'd you do, buddy? Burned my arm. How? I leaned on the car. His arm looked cool when he first started filming. <laughs> you were trying to... I look cool now. Just lean against no. it, but don't burn your arm. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's looking real... That's looking sweet. All right. So, why don't you tell everybody where we're at? Uh, we're at Martin's Barbecue Joint. Right. And it's been ranked what? Uh... Number one, I guess it was voted number one in Tennessee. Totally, yes. Now, I'm not sure what's going on here, and I don't care. We're just going to walk right in so with this. Okay, guys, so we are basically uh, the four of us. Uh, my friend Nancy, who does not want to be in the video, um, she's with us. She's here from California, and uh, uh, she's a friend from back in my radio days. And then uh, Tammy's here, and Jack Jr., obviously, you saw him in the beginning. Alright, so I'm gonna go slow so you guys can see the whole menu. You can pause the video at any time. I'm looking at Pitmaster combos. Ooh. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Yeah. Redneck tacos, barbecue sandwiches. Smoked brisket chili. Look at that. Nice. And then what's over here? Wings, old school burgers, out of the kitchen. So you're getting a, what are you getting? A brisket plate. Oh, beef brisket? Yeah. All right, I'm going to do pulled pork. And, oh, you're not no, going to do I ribs? Think. You can add bone, too. Add a bone? Add, wait, where is it? There it is. Add a bone for $1.50. Okay, so that's the first brisket that came out. And you got the slaw and the mac and cheese. It's not bad. Not a lot of sauce, though. Kind of, maybe... I don't know, I'm a, I'm a sauce guy, but we'll find out how it tastes. All right, you can go ahead and eat, sorry. I just had to get a shot of that. And then uh, here's the four bones that I added. I took like three bones. Look at me, I'm always worried about numbers. Let me just take a look. Yeah, that's, that's three bones. Isn't that three bones? Yep. No, there's one right here. One? Where? No, it's only three. No, it's three bones. Oh, it's three. I paid for four. The bone that ripped off at the end right here, that's why it's probably the meat. Here, Jack. Is that, is that three or four bones? It's three. That looks like they got a little game piece on it. I'll get you another one. Okay, no, not a problem. I'm just, I'm just curious. Yeah, it looks like they, they just got a little end on it. I'll, yeah, I'll no, give them not a problem, man. That's good. You got uh, mac and cheese, french fries. That's a brisket burger. All right. Oh, there it is. You just opened it up, dude. Oh, you're going to try it? Hold on. You can try the devil sauce or whatever it's called? Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. All right, go ahead. It's okay. <laughs> I don't know. If you're expecting something, you're not going to get it. Yeah? Just put your big finger in there. Want me to take a swig? Take a swig. Nothing? <laughs> all right, all right. What kind of soda you got? You got they had some special sodas. You got Coke? No, over there, the bottle. You got a Coke? Oh, you're laughing while you're drinking, dude. Put the Coke down. Put the Coke oh my down, God. dude. All right, what I'm drink thirsty. you got? Show us the, out what's the bottle. What's it called? Uh, it's cheer wine. It's, it's like a cherry drink. Cheer wine? Mm -hmm. All right. What? Why do you keep picking up the drink? <laughs> Why are you picking up the drink, dude? Put the drink down. Thank you. Nice. Oh, thank, thank you. you man. Look how beautiful that is. <laughs> he thank you so much. All right. Oh yeah, he's he's whooping down his burger right now, and it was hot. Yes. He poured all the barbecue sauce on his burger. Okay, here we go. Grape knee high. Oh my goodness, it's not that sweet. It's really good. I thought this would be like all sugar. It's not. Want to try it? Want to try it? Come on, want to try it? It's not sweet at all. I bet yours is like mega sweet. Okay, the grape knee high is awesome. Really good. I thought it was going to taste like pure sugar. Not bad, huh? It's not sweet, is it? I just don't like grape. It always tastes like cough medicine. Grape always tastes like cough medicine. All right, whatever. Okay, so let me show you what a rib looks like. This is a bone. For a buck fifty, you get an extra. Uh, you get a rib, so a lot of meat on it. 
see that side and very little bone. All right, here we go. Wow, their dry rub seasoning is really good. Look, that's how it should be. Right there. A good rib comes right off the bone, but doesn't fall off the bone on its own. It has to be pulled. And then it comes off clean. Perfect right there. Okay, next thing we're gonna try is the pulled pork. It looks moist. We'll give it a try. I'm gonna try this. Definitely amazing. This, I mean, this is, it, it's more moist than I thought it would be. It's really good. It's got a little mixture of fat in there with it, but it makes it uh, balanced. It's got a lot of flavor. Wow. All right. Now I'm gonna try it with sauce. What did we, what did we get the sweet one? <clears throat> what sauce did we do? Sweet Dixie. All right, this is the sweet Dixie sauce. So let me get, get a little piece. Let's see how the cling is. Oh, nice. Really good. You can buy a bottle too. I'm going home with one. All right, so here we go. Coleslaw. So far, everything's amazing. Wow. Okay, ready? I can tell you right away. You know how you have like a mayonnaise-based coleslaw and a vinegar-based, just two different kinds. This is both mixed together. You agree? Good. Oh my God. Sorry. Right. I'm ready. All right, so we're gonna do the beans next. How's your mac and cheese? Good. Yeah. Beans are really interesting. I'm a brown sugar guy. Oh, is that bacon in there? They have bacon in their beans. Wow. Mm. No, it's pulled pork. That's what it is. Wow. Real pork in your beans. This is super good. I'm gonna try the Alabama white sauce here. Here we go. Okay, it's nothing like I thought it would be. It's like a spicy ranch or a spicy is it mayo based? Okay, you got the broccoli salad and you're a big fan of broccoli salad. So what do you think? It's really good. Yeah? Yeah. Is it like the pan I make? Yes. Oh, nice. They got cheese though in it. Oh, yeah. Everything has cheese in it. I love that. Okay, so here's the deal. Um, there's a story about this place having run out of food once. Because they don't have microwaves, freezers, none of that stuff. Everything made fresh right on the premises and they will run out of food. I thought that was pretty cool. The other thing is this. Uh, you said they had their own CB channel, right? They have their own CB channel for truckers. So like they, maybe they can call ahead, I don't know. That's really cool, CB channel number 21. When they're in the area, there's four locations and they're gonna keep opening more. They don't franchise these. What you do if you wanna open one, you partner with them. This way they control the quality and it never drops. You don't have to worry about somebody destroying the brand name. Brilliant food, brilliant design. All right, I'll, let you, I'll, I'll wrap it up outside. We'll get everybody's input. I'm gonna finish my meal, and I'm pretty excited about this place. Here's I want to show you this. This is where they do the smoking. Look at that. This thing's on, this thing's like billowing out smoke into the restaurant. How awesome is that? You gotta love that. I'll get it from this side. So that's their smoker. It's inside. Amazing. You gotta love it. I'll leave the shovel. So yeah, so they do all that's where all the beauty is. Okay Dan, so what I thought of the place is the food was amazing. I'm over um, here. Oh. That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> um hold on a minute, hold on a minute. 
Hold on, Freddy. He's gonna squish your, no, gonna squish your face. He's gonna squish your face. Okay, so what do you think of the place? I thought the food was great. The rib that you gave me at the end was amazing. The seasoning was great. Just didn't really have a complaint about it, anything. That's it? Yeah, that's it. Would, would you say, hey, let's drive back to that Martin's barbecue? Um, I'd say let's drive back to that barbecue and mom will be like, oh yeah, that barbecue right next to that thing. And you know, <laughs> we'll, we'll always know what she's talking about. Exactly. So the we'll burger, out. was the burger good? The burger was awesome. The devil's nectar thing wasn't that hot. All right, I, I mean, I didn't go through like the phases where like you start to sweat and then you cry spicy. and then your body shuts down. Yep. Yeah, it's just kind of like hot sauce. So. Yeah, it's, it's kind of like hot sauce. All right. Hey guys, okay, Martin's barbecue, amazing. The beans were off the charts. The only thing that was lacking, um, I just want to get that out of the way. The only thing that was uh, lacking was the uh, the mac and cheese. Didn't have a lot of flavor. Needed something else. I don't know if it was a seasoning or a little pork thrown in or a little barbecue sauce, just a drizzle. A drizzle? Did I say a drizzle? Anyway, it doesn't matter. The bottom line is the brisket was amazing. Some of the best brisket in town. These guys deserve whatever awards they've ever won. They have new locations, Martin's Barbecue. Uh, it was off the charts. It was a pleasure to be here and I will be back. I will see you guys in the next episode. Take care. Oh, yeah, right. We got to score them. I'm sorry. Um, you know what? I got to say all their barbecue, uh, they had a great selection of sauce. Uh, I would uh, do a 49 out of 50. I'm serious. I couldn't find anything wrong. Uh, even the mac and cheese was good. Just need a little bit of something extra. So there you go. 49 out of 50. Breakdown is down below in the description box. I'll see you on the next episode. Take care. Bye-bye.